Oh, we didn't read a damn thing. Oh my god, I see a school. Oh my god, you're kidding. You're kidding. No way. This is fucking sick. What up guys, kind of sunny today. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. We are the only ones at the lake today, and check us out. We are taking out the boat again. We are gonna be linking up with Torrance today. He is just minutes out, and we are gonna get this thing launched. Let me tell you what the deal is. It is a Friday Memorial weekend, and uh, yeah, we assumed everywhere was gonna be packed. But dudes, there's some bad weather. Uh, you can even see a little darkness over there that uh, could be headed our direction. So we're just gonna be ready to exit the premises on the fly if need be. We brought the cover for the boat. We can cover it, we can get back home. But uh, yeah, I think the winds were like at 15 miles an hour. It feels very calm right now. We knew this ramp would be a little hidden from the wind given the direction it's coming from. So we felt comfortable launching here and we're gonna go ahead and get in the water, test out all of our new Garmin goodies. Man, today's the day. First use, first impressions. Let's have some fun. Hey, these all right. All right, guys, let's get her unhooked. Get the plug. Gotta have the plug in. Ooh, transom support, I believe, is what you call this bad boy. She is on there. Woo! Strap the goods. Never used her before. Turn the power on. Where's she at? Boom. Most never seen the boat. Shoo wee! <laughs> so clean. I appreciate it, oh man. Oh my gosh. No one's ever seen it with the stuff up front either. Brand new, right? Yep. Oh man. Is this Video's like the sensor one? Is this? That's a good screen too. 10 inch Garmin. Jeez, bro. It's We're about to have be some fun. Crazy. We're about to figure it all out. <laughs> Dude, thanks for the invite, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, we just chowing down on a sandwich. Yeah. We're about to get launched though, man. Oh, oh man. Torrance <laughs> hooking it up. Let's go. Yo. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Dude, the grass is here. Holy crap. I mean, we are in it. We've never opened it up like full throttle. Hold on, let me see if the uh, <laughs> it sounds like it's uh, it. sounds like it's got grass on it or in it. You see some? Oh, howdy do there! <laughs> what the f is that rubber? That's what's going on. Wait, that's sketchy. Wait, where did it come from? Is the real question. I bet you that bungee fell off because I, I was taking off that transom thing and I was shaking it a lot yeah. and it came off finally. But I bet you that's the bungee. You did. Oh boy some support bungee uh, stuck in the prop. My, my doing, I took off that transom support. Y'all saw how hard I was working it, how hard I was working it. That bungee always stays attached, but I just, so I didn't even think about it being detached, but I guess it stayed on there. And so, first timers. Woo! Well, Have had to have taken I, no to i only up. took off the one side but as i was shaking it i bet you that other piece just got loose uh, and like stayed on the it, it must have stayed on the motor oh, nice. you want this knife you got it. no way our transom support bungee could have cost us some damage it might have but i'm hoping everything is good we're gonna take her for a run see what happens oh yeah she's she's running now all right let's see what's up exactly. this trolling motor it's so light, like it just lifts it for you. No way. That's the power output. So yeah, that's the like how fast. But yeah, the battery indicator just goes like, it goes like yellow, then orange, then red, then blinking red. Probably not even. I know, I want to fire up this bitch. <laughs> We're so pumped. This is the new shit, dude. It has a cup holder right there. We had, them put, we had them put USB ports too. Yeah. Put GoPros on like a tri on like a monopod sticking out and just like film it all day. Ridiculous. So we're 9.6 feet. This is perspective view. But, yeah, but I don't think it's I don't think it's tilted properly. Perspective view. Okay, now I think we're straight. Put this thing back in the water. Okay, so this thing is silent. This motor is silent. We gotta get in here. It's wherever your trolling motor is pointed that it sees. Yeah, we're gonna have to get this thing figured out because I'm still clueless. Oh, we didn't read a damn thing. Auto four, 44 feet, oh, 20 foot, okay, 20 foot range. There's my saucy swimmer, see that? 
no, see it? Wait. Yep, you just saw it. There's my saucy swimmer right in front of the boat. Yeah, I see it. That's crazy. I need to change out the sensitivity. Auto gain, so like paired together, emerge, but. Oh, I think I, I see a fish. Oh my god, I see a school. Oh, oh my god, you see a whole school of fish. Oh my god, I see a school. Oh my god, you're kidding. You're kidding. No way. This is sick. I changed the gain and I just saw the fish. That was nuts. They're right over there. They literally just all swam into the grass. No way. This is like. Look, I see a fish. I see. A f oh, it's my saucy swimmer. Oh. Oh, here they go, right into the boat, right into the boat. Look at this, Torrance, look at the screen. Oh my God, dude. Hold on, they, they, they just went into this grass, they went to the right. I don't know, look, look, there they are. See him? Torrance, look at the screen. See him swimming? See him swimming right in front of the boat? See that guy out in the open? Is that on the same screen, babe? Here, let me, let me look to the right a little bit. See, look at those fish. Look at those fish swimming. Those are fish, dude. Look, they're right here. Look, I see them. Crazy! Whoa! There's fish, there's fish. Guys, look, there's fish swimming around on the grass right in front of the boat. Fish swimming around the grass right in front of the boat. Dude, they're just right here in front of the boat around this grass pile. Is that not the craziest? Oh, getting bites. Oh, yeah. I'm sitting down. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I don't know. What you got? I don't know. I don't know. It's on grass. It's on grass. Oh, oh, man. Oh, nice. This one. All right. That was stupid. I guess he had to have picked it up and was just swimming with it. Oh, stupid. I don't even have like line. That was like the wackest hook set and just like it's slack line. I'm like, oh, I got it. Stupid. I was recording. I were, I was. So I were, I, 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 I were. <laughs> All right, well, that uh, confirms that there's fish here. I didn't need no live scope to tell me where it was. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. First fish on the boat for today. Little guy in the grass. Here we go. Let's get him. You do. You do. I'm not. I'm not good. Yeah. Turns on. All right. Oh, yeah. Good one! Oh my gosh! Get him! Yo! Yeah. <laughs> no way, dude. Biggest bass in our boat right here. Look at this thing. Woo. Choked it. Yo. That was an awesome fight, man. Seiko. <laughs> yeah, Seiko. Okay. It's actually a Nico rig. A Nico but, rig. Yeah, I put a weight on there. All right. Just yeah, it's a, a little breezy. A little breezy. Yeah. Okay, we got to get some old bass in here. Yeah. There's fish, there's fish. Guys, look, there's fish swimming around on the grass right in front of the boat. Fish swimming around the grass right in front of the boat. Dude, they're just right here in front of the boat around this grass pile. So basically, it, it looks like there's fish right there, but... Yeah! Get out of here! <laughs> Torrent's got another. All right, they're on the Sanko bite today. They are, right? Ugh. They're like following the boat. Oh, they, they moved when we threw the lure in there. There's fish all under the boat, guys. Like, they are seven feet in front of us. They just took off. That was so cool, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> like, you're working a fish that you actually see. That's what we were doing when we were with, uh, when we were with Jay, because he actually understood it. And it was on a different view. It was on down view. So, like, we were in deeper water, and you can see them, and you can see your lure going down, and you can see, like, right when you're at the same spot they are in the column. Like, if they're, like, five feet up, you just jig your five feet up. It's insane, dude. Torrance is over here killing it, smoking us. Got yes. another one. Good bass. <laughs> awesome. All right, man. We got to get on whatever Torrance is doing because he's caught three now, I think. Three? You caught a little one in between the two. Yeah, three. Mother. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> he's loaning us some Nico rig setup stuff. I know we have this at the house too. That's the thing. I'm like, where's all our tackle? But it's probably in the garage. So he loaned us a Nico weight. I wanted to show you just a little bit of this last. It's just essentially like a needle weight. And you just put it into the nose of your Sanko. I'm going to bury that guy all the way in. So it's kind of like a, it's probably most similar to like a weighted wacky rig setup. But here's what you do with your hook. Well, first of all, before we put the hook on, I'm sorry. Uh, you also get one of these rubber rings. 
these are common on wacky rigs but also Nikos. so what you do is you get the uh, Nico or wacky rig tool where you can get that rubber piece right there on the end then you stick your Sanko in there and then you take that ring off boom now that ring is right where we need it on the worm to get more longevity out of it and let's go ahead and rig this guy up what you want to do is the side that has the Nico weight you actually want to rig the hook away from it I'll tell you why so when you're working through the grass, and this comes from Torrance Man, he's full of all the tips, the weight's going to be right here. You're going to be pulling it through the grass. That way you're not getting caught up in as much of that stuff. The hook is going to be facing backwards. You'll be able to just kind of work right through it. So essentially, kind of like a weighted wacky rig, man. It's kind of like uh, you don't want to throw a big heavy Texas rig, but you don't want to uh, throw a light wacky rig. The reason being, if we were throwing a heavy Texas rig, we'd be digging into this grass and probably not getting as many bites. We'd just be down in it. If we were using the wacky rig, it's so windy today, the worm never sinks. Like You're just like, okay, this is pointless. Now with this Nico rig, it's right there in the middle. So you can get the perfect drop. You just need a little bit of weight to that Sanko. I think we're about to slam, man. Thanks, Torrance. Whole lake to ourselves, man. Nobody is here. Memorial weekend. This is nuts. Oh, bluegill. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Nice. <laughs> sorry. Nice. <laughs> I was like, oh man, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I nice. felt a little bitty tick, and then I, I was he must have grabbed it and swam closer, because then as soon as I caught up to the slack, I felt more, and I. <laughs> Good job, bud. Good job. He ate that. We're gonna go ahead and get him in the water. Dialing in. These fish are definitely a little bit deeper today. Get that release and get back in the water. Inaccurate. Okay. There you go. All right, on the citizen. All right. There we go. Oh, that was about a four right there. That was about a four right there. All right. You know. Oh, first hit on the Pearl Citizen, man. Literally, this is our only time uh, ever rigging these things up. You guys saw me probably in a previous video or one that's coming out soon on how to rig this guy. <sighs> he smoked it. That was a big one. Okay. Oh shit. How good? Okay, okay. This is a good fish. Oh. Whoa. This is a good fish. No way. Swim right at us. Swim right at us. Go. Not a bad, I mean, not like a big fish, but it felt so much bigger on this. And it was your idea to come back over here. <laughs> it turns out this little $30 Shimano uh, yeah, it holds up. a little work. <laughs> Sweet. New spinning reel we got at uh, Fun and Sun when we picked up the boat with the new mods, man. By the way, we are loving this perspective uh, mount. It's so sick. Like, you see the fish swimming right in front of you. You can see your bait on the graph, and you can see the fish chasing it. I mean, we're going to have to do, like, a full review on this thing soon. But let's get back to Devin's fish, get this thing back in the water, and catch some more for you guys. Dude, huge shout-out to Torrance Pond Boys back here. His information is going to be all linked in the description for hooking us up with the Nico rig setup. This thing is proven to be the trick today. It's doing some work on that setup. It really proves, like I said, that little $30 Shimano reel puts in work it felt a lot bigger I wasn't sure what we were working with so we went ahead and netted it I wasn't filming so that's why you saw it on Weston's GoPro but let's go ahead get this guy back in the water good healthy fish coming out of here I don't know that's probably four five or five fish. five, five fish. six yeah. Torrance is on three, three you've four, got two five. yeah and then I missed you know I probably missed the biggest one but you know who's who's talking oh, oh yeah double up first double up on the new boat baby double up on the boat yo oh, now hold up he's got to land it now <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> spot lock. <laughs> Most important feature we don't freaking have. Yeah. yeah, we haven't set up spot lock because we got to calibrate Ooh. the trolling motor. And you're supposed to do it when there's like low winds and stuff. Anyways, let's get a couple shots of these fish and get them back in the water. Oh, oh. All right. Oh, 
right? Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> what is going on out here? <laughs> Weston finally gets a fish, y'all. It's, uh, it's huge. My first one of the day. Uh, I know, I don't get much credit for that. Where did Biggs at, baby? Where did Biggs at? We're honestly probably gonna have to do this a couple times, just like let the wind blow us down here and then do the same thing. Damn, I got smoked. What are you using? Oh, that saucy swimmer. Oh, is. yeah! <laughs> I seen that. I might throw the saucy swimmer with the underspin. Now, nah, oh, just kidding. Oh, no. He took the tail. He oh, took the yeah. tail. Dang it, dude. In the motor okay all right that'll do Woo! <laughs> got him man heck yeah saucy swimmer out here in the shallows anyways i figured we just come up here in the shallows cast a little bit first one on the uh, swim bait let's get him back in the water try and snag us a couple more i said look at that oh oh that was fast dude they're in here we, we found the right pocket man we're in here the wind is blowing all the way up as soon as he switched front to the moving bait He's back on the spinner bait. I mean, in here, guys, right now at this moment, chatter bait, spinner bait. Uh, I'm using a swim bait with the underspin. Torrance is using. I mean, we. You could throw just about anything moving, and I bet you'd get them. Oh, there's one or two. We're a little, little dude. <laughs> Very well, the smallest fish, but the feistiest fish. I don't even care. Fish is a fish. You know it's recording. Yeah. T is on. T is on. Another double up. Oh, no, no. <laughs> so sick. Cheers. Cheers. So awesome. <laughs> All right, man, we tore this place up. We gave it the run around like five different times. I still can't believe we're the only people who have fished this lake the entire day. That blows my mind. But what blows my mind even more, man, is the new equipment we got on this boat. I'm gonna tell you guys all about our first impressions when we get to the truck over here. Um, we might have to load up and be out of here in a hurry, but either way, I'm gonna catch up with you guys before we end today's video, so maybe back at the house, we'll see you all in a second. But what we did is we took the screens off, got them all covered and taken care of. And uh, I realized it wasn't our transom support. I think that's what you call it. That was uh, on the prop. So thank goodness, because I thought I totally screwed up at the beginning of this video, but ours was still on the, on the piece. So our bungee was still connected to it. I just remember when I was shaking that. I don't know if you guys saw earlier when I was like shaking this off, but it was tough to get that uh, bar off today because we had trimmed the motor really far down and it was really suctioned on there. And so I thought maybe our strap had just fallen off because I was like messing with it so much. But our strap was on there so that was literally somebody else's strap that got caught on the prop so we got lucky that it didn't do too much damage it still had one of these pieces on there so anyways catch you guys at the house all right all right all right we are back at the house man and guess what we're decked out in Guggen merch baby if y'all want to get any of this stuff it's 15 percent off man code west and down in the description i'm only going to plug it this one time because i got to tell you more about all the new gear guys the thing is i almost want to tell you all about our first impressions and how cool this stuff is but like we go even more in depth on today's video we took the stuff out again and it's like I'm gonna be repeating that process. So just keep an eye out for these future videos, man. We're uploading one video a day. Today we took live scope out again, had even more fun with it. We fished with Devin's father, showed him how to use the bait caster. What else do we do? We got the trolling motor compass set up. So we got like a lot of things done. Now we can use spot lock. Now we can use all the other features that that trolling motor has to offer. So the first impressions are as valuable as they are. I think you're just gonna to wanna to see our second impressions once we get this stuff more dialed in. But I'll just go ahead and tell you we love everything. Like literally the live scope perspective view is nuts because that's all we use this day. There's like multiple other views you can use. You can put it in down view and forward view. So that would be like if you want to look just below the boat or if you want to look kind of around the boat a little bit. And we didn't use those modes at all. You have to just pull that motor up and you adjust the transducer on the perspective mode mount and you put it right back in the water. It literally takes seconds and you can it automatically switches to the down view, the front view, these other views. And you can now fish deep 
deeper water with it. So basically, normally it's like in a vertical position, the transducer, and it looks down and it shows you how far down the fish are. You get a totally different idea. It's almost like a traditional sonar graph down imaging. But then the perspective view, the piece rotates horizontally, and now it's scanning wide in the shallow water. So you'll get a better idea as we fish this more and more on these future videos. Guys, I don't want to make this outro too long, but I am glad you stuck around till the end. Thank you guys so much for that. Remember, save 15%. That's the second time I plugged it. I messed up. We'll catch you tomorrow. Peace. Boom.